You've had um, demand inspections, photographing my possessions. I've had sheriffs come, threats of $15,000 a day. The Virginia Department of Transportation contacted the animal warden. I have gone through an unbelievable amount of hardship based on years and years and years of a green group acting in collusion with realtors and the local county government to force my family off the land. My mom always had kitchen gardens in the backyard. The land that our house was on that we grew up in was part of George Washington's vast farmland. My, my love and my passion for farming really came from that experience and I very much wanted to be a farmer and I couldn't wait to have a farm of my own where I could grow vegetables and have animals and share my farm with the community. This farm is called Liberty Farm and my family purchased it in 2006. We purchased the farm with an easement. The purpose of a conservation easement is to protect against development and to really protect and guarantee the landscape. Before my family purchased this farm, I didn't even know what a conservation easement was. I thought that the environmental uh, groups were the good guys uh, because I share very much in the love of the land and I consider myself to be a conservationist. My family purchased this farm from the Piedmont Environmental Council. The Piedmont Environmental Council is an environmental group um, headquartered in Warrington, Virginia, and they co-hold the easement on this property. The Piedmont Environmental Council is a land trust that purchased this farm from uh, Phil and Patty Thomas, my neighbors. Events that happened thereafter have been years of torture and torment and harassment and hardship on my family. I'm just wondering, in terms of the conservation easement language, how it's written, I, what is it exactly that we're We are looking for evidence of whether or not this is being used as a residence. Okay, okay. That's, what, that's what's in the easement. It, and you need to look in closets. Why don't you look in the refrigerator, too? I believe in, in being a good steward to the land and using the resources in a, in a peaceful way that, that leaves a small footprint. There's a much bigger picture of, of what's behind all of this that we've been able to prove. My neighbors uh, are members of the Piedmont Environmental Council and an elected official in my county was on the board of directors for the PEC and he disclosed publicly that my family and I were the subject of an IRS audit before my family ever received the notice and it's, it's devastating and terrifying. Who's really acting here? Is it the Green Group or is it the county government? And they act as one in, in a way to achieve the agenda of the Green Group. What does what I have in my closet, my private personal possessions, what does that have to do with the environment or conservation? There is nothing in the easement that permits forcing their way into my private personal life, my private personal property, and it's been an, a, an egregious abuse of trespass. What's happened to me and my family has been eight years of absolute living terror. Every single day waking up, wondering what are they gonna do to me next. I want to get back to my passion, my love for this land, for my love for farming and, and sharing the farm with the community. And instead, you know, our family resources have gone to defending and fighting to protect our farm. Engaging the community and providing vegetables and raw honey and eggs to the community. That's where my heart is and, and that's what we hope for. <laughs>